Well, riders on the line for the feature race of the weekend, the International Gold Cup Final. Last minute alterations for John McGuinness on the Vimto Honda, the team working frantically away. I think they've been changing tyres there at the rear end. So Jason Griffiths on the inside of the circuit, then it's Dean Ashton, followed by Phil Stead and number two, John McGuinness. Away they go from the line, Dean Ashton gets a tremendous start. But at Mia Herpin, who's going to lead the charge? Jason Griffiths on the are coming together there. Dean Ashton having to back off a little, tried to lay it across the front of Jason. But Jason was having none of it. The charge up Quarry Hill. Who will be leading at the top of this tremendous climb? It's Jason Griffiths. Jason Griffiths leads the way. Phil Stead in second place. Dean Ashton pegged back in third at this stage of the race. It's a 10-lap race, the longest one of the weekend for the biggest prize fund of the weekend and, of course, the coveted Steve Henshaw Gold Trophy. But Jason Griffiths looking comfortable at the moment. Honda have only won this race once. The Gold Cup was first raced for at Scarborough back in 1950, believe it or not. Carl Fogarty in 1989 is the only man to have given Honda victory. And Honda have always supported the meetings at Scarborough and they would dearly love to see uh, whether it be an RC45, anything that's got the big H on it, but here a tremendous battle going up. Phil Stead gives it a little bit too much with the right wrist. Steps out of line again, the same problem for John McGuinness. It is tempting to uh, just give a little bit too much throttle to the bikes. And uh, bearing in mind the bikes are climbing very, very steeply up that hill. And the little two strokes, which have a very narrow power band compared with the bigger four strokes, are an absolute handful. The field stretching out now down the back straight, but look at the daylight between race leader Jason Griffiths and second man Phil Stead. Dean Ashton quickening the pace now on the Yamaha R1, then it's Simon Beck on the Kawasaki, ahead of Ian Knight, John McGuinness, then number 21, Steve Day on only his second visit to Scarborough. He was followed by Manx Airlines pilot, I think that was, Richard Coates, tucked right in behind him. You'll see the signboards going out on the left-hand side of your screen. That is where the riders find out the positions. But it's Jason Griffiths. He's into Mia Herpin yet again. And there's a lot of daylight now between himself and the... Well, that is Phil Stead who's come through a problem there for Dean Ashton. I think he may have outbraked himself fractionally. Phil Stead didn't need a second invitation to nip through into second place. So the 250cc... David Fawcett Honda of Philstead taking full advantage of the situation but Dean Ashton is not going to take that without a fight of that you can be sure that 1000cc uh, Yamaha compared with the 250cc Honda of Philstead look at the concentration all over the face of Jason Griffiths on bike number three his father, Selwyn, was a regular competitor at Oliver's Mount in the 50s and 60s, but Dean Ashton is through into second place yet again. Down to third has gone Phil Stead. Fourth is Simon Beck. Jason Roundsmere looks up the hill, it's all clear, guns the motor, gives it the big licks of Quarry Hill. And again a battle going on, Phil Stead once more giving it just that little bit too much. Simon Beck being chased hard by that man again, Ian Knights. After 18 months out of the saddle, Knightsy has come back in superb fashion. Snicks it through the gears. Total concentration. at the chequered flag, no wheelies from Jason but second place goes to Dean Ashton a fine third for Phil Stead